Hello everybody and welcome back to StarCraft 2, where we are currently flying around with carriers. That's always fun. I do want to scout out where exactly this ends up. It's right here, apparently. Now that's a little awkward, to be sure. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. We'll go clear this. Go ahead and warp in ourselves a pylon here. Draw some fire off of our carriers. Excellent. Take out some Mobius core troops. And we've got ourselves a new base location as soon as we need it. Which actually isn't quite yet. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and Solar Lance right here. Uh, right here. And then, like, right here. Okay. There's a good amount of damage dealt. We're just going to push up this way for now. How are we doing over here? Uh, we could be doing better. Go ahead and bring this carrier up over here. Continue clearing out everything up over here. We could purify our beam, but I kind of don't want to. I would kind of rather warp in additional reinforcements up here. About like that. Okay. So we now have these jerks. Okay. We'll head over here. We'll go ahead and grab the level 2 upgrades for ground. And our mineral fields are running out, so that's good. We'll be able to move momentarily. There's a lot of Mobius forces up over here, isn't there? Well, we're killing them quite efficiently. Let's go ahead and back off. Kill that, that jerk right there, and this jerk. Okay. Come on over here. We're just waiting on this one final mineral field. So that shouldn't be too much longer. Of course we do. We always require more Vespine gas. <laughs> okay, that should be the depletion. Everybody pile onto the platform. And off we go. Okay, so these guys obviously can't get there. I'm going to leave them here. But I didn't realize that this had a connection up here. So there is that. We're going to need to scout that over here. I don't think there's a base up there, but I think that just links to here. Realistically. Okay. I mean, we can, we can go ahead and do a solar lance right here. Kind of like that and wipe out a lot of those defenses. Okay, and then we can push up this direction. I mean, we could throw away these guys. They're literally free units, so they can attack the back and be maybe a little bit of a distraction. They're probably just going to instantly die. That's fine. I would prefer not to. I will leave that to you. Nice response, Carex. I like it. Let our enemy know our fury. Okay, we're gonna go clear over here. I'm going to go ahead and warp in some reinforcements over here. They're killing these pylons, but I don't care. We'll grab these resources over here, as well as these up here, while our carriers are launching the attack over this direction. Okay, so they're now down over here, attacking our stalkers and such. We're going to need to defend that, realistically, so let's go ahead and pull back, because we're going to need to defend our nexus. Okay, 
Um, yeah, they're just going to come up. They're going to come straight up. Or not, actually. They are not going to come straight up. They're going to kill that pylon first. What a bunch of jerks. Okay, here they come. Bunch of Vikings back here, but they're no problem. Excellent. Oh, let's go. Once we come over here, and actually, realistically, does this connect? It does connect. So I think we are fine right now to move the platform on over. The platform's power grid is nearly offline, Hierarch. There is only one more core. Well done, Carax. The attacks on the ship have slowed. That's good, I suppose. Okay. I'm going to use our Centurions to grab these pallets up over here. And then let's clear on through here. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and drop some reinforcements up over here. And we're going to use these to attack up this direction. Okay. There's all that cleared out. We'll go use this stalker over here. And in the meantime, these guys can come down over here. We are still warping in additional carriers. Let's go ahead and clear these guys all out. They did decide to attack us again, but it kind of didn't matter. Our fleet was right there, so it was fine. Let's have this stalker come on up here and clear this out. There we go. This carrier can come on back here and finish rebuilding us interceptors. Okay. And we require all the Vespine gas, unfortunately. You're just about done over there, Stalker. <laughs> no, he's not. Okay, uh, I think we can send these Centurions down over here to grab these resources. And realistically, we can kind of do the death push at this point. So let's just see about breaking this up here. Okay, I'm going to Solar Lance, like so. We can Purify our Beam right there and laugh at them. Okay. And we can just push on in at this point. We do have more carriers on the way. But realistically, this should be more than fine. We're cutting through them very quickly. No real problems. They have no real response to our carriers, it would appear. The main problem with carriers is just that they take two minutes to warp in and they cost so many resources. Otherwise, carriers are very good. If you have the time to build carriers, I don't see a reason not to build carriers still. Especially since interceptors are free in StarCraft 2. Like, that's so nice. They didn't have to do that. These hybrid are essentially void rays? Is that true? Kinda looks like it. Are they trying to launch an attack? That's cute. Yeah, they were trying to launch an attack there, I think. Well, let's just finish this. Carax, the Mobius Corps battle cruisers are warping away from the Spear of Adun. Yes, I believe I have found them. It is no matter. We will not be deterred. Yeah, this isn't a problem in the slightest. 
Okay. Your warriors have engaged. The final power core has been destroyed. We must strike now. Is the spear of a doom secure? Yes. We repelled the invaders before they could reach the solar core. Our weapon systems are yours to command. It was my honor to serve. Fire! We actually got all the achievements. Okay. That's a little bit weird. Let's see, complete the Templar's charge mission and destroy 120 units with carriers and com collect 42 resource pickups. We uh, picked up 89, so that was easy. Well, let's continue. I assume people are going to be a little salty about Karax leading forces in battle. Amon's hybrid facility lies in Reuben. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Karax of the Kalai. You were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the age of castes has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. Less salty than I expected. Looks like Alarak isn't super fond of that, but whatever. No one cares what Alarak thinks. You wound me, Artanis. You strive to maintain this flawed existence, but you will not stop me. Amon, I have destroyed your Terran army, eradicated your hybrid facility, and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, back! You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Iron and die. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers Iyer, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. No! Well, I was right. The Spear of Adun has finished replicating a new combat unit. You can assign it to a faction now if you wish. 
Yeah, that's all well and good. But I was right. Someone was salty. It wasn't who I thought it would be salty, though. Amon seems pretty upset. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode, we will have our conversations, and I think we're about ready to wrap this, this campaign up. It's getting pretty close. See you all next time.